What single thing defines the success of your school? The boys and girls, they define the success of the school. They've had an excellent education, they've been prepared well for life, they're going to go on and do brilliant things, and that defines the success of the school. Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite, and, how, and does this matter? Some parents may be feeling that, but the, the aim of the school is ad vitam. We're preparing boys and girls for life. We're educating. What does educating mean? Educating means to lead out. And it is so important that the parents, whatever their intentions, are, that they, they realise that the boys and girls are being led into life and they're being given the best education possible. What do your pupils say about you and do you care? I really don't know what they say about me. We've got more than 500 pupils in this school and maybe they're all saying slightly different things. What I hope they do say is that I care. How do you define bullying and how do you deal with it? Bullying is whenever somebody is made to feel unvalued, unwelcome, unwanted and we loathe it. We loathe it as a school and it's so important that we deal with it properly and we deal with it by having a strong sense of values. The motto of this school is Ad Vitam, we're preparing boys and girls for life and bullying is no part in life. And it's very important that the bullies realise here that it's just not co cool to be a bully at St Leonard's. How do you react to wealthy parents offering donations to the development fund before their children have enrolled in the school? Well, they're very welcome to make uh, donations to the school. I'd be delighted to receive them. But it doesn't make an impact on whether their son or daughter is accepted into the school. We accept pupils from all sorts of backgrounds. A number of them will require significant financial support. And it's much more important that the boy and girl fits into the community, fits into the school, whether their parents are wealthy or not. When did you last expel a pupil and why? I think it would be just over two years ago, two or three years ago. Uh, that was a pupil who sadly decided to take some drugs and was found out. And they really weren't a suitable person to be in the community. And so they had to leave.